Welcome to Your Two Cents, where we tell you our opinion, then ask for yours. Today, I want to talk about BlackBerry's statement that they were contemplating selling themselves. Now, it's possible that they'll be absorbed by another company, but it could also mean that BlackBerry, as an OS, will no longer exist. My question for you guys is this. If BlackBerry goes away, how would it affect the cell phone marketplace? Lewis, why don't you kick off the uh, discussion? I think it'll be a huge hit in the sense that you already have the top tier manufacturers, right? Apple and Android. Those guys are going to battle it for first place for who knows how long. Then underneath that, you're going to have Windows and BlackBerry. So without BlackBerry, you just have Windows, you know? So who who is going to step up to that third tier category and fill that spot in, you know? Fill that um, spot below Windows, you mean? <laughs> fill that spot below Windows, <laughs> yeah. Or give Windows that, really... that extra push to be like, you know, to be competitive, to like want to break out of like the, t the second tier level, you know? Right. That, that's how I see it. And I mean, like, we've railed on BlackBerry a lot, but, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of corporations still do rely on BlackBerry, on RIM, uh, for their devices. Sure. You think uh, the the end of BlackBerry is going to create kind of like a little vacuum there, um, and like who are we going to make fun of? I guess that means we're going to have to make fun of the next step up, you know, or whoever <laughs> fills that niche. I mean, there's there's talk about the Firefox phone or Linux phone right. um, might might run in there, but then like you said, Lewis, uh, BlackBerry is a very corporate, very enterprise minded phone um, that companies often buy their executives uh, because it's super secure. Now. I don't know if there's another smaller company out there ready to fill that void. I could see Windows trying to take that over because Windows is all about productivity. You know, like, oh, it integrates with this, integrates with that. Right. And BlackBerry has always kind of used that as their main selling point. It's like, oh, look, we're all about email communication and being seamless and integrating with everything. Um, so I could see Windows trying to scoop up um, some of BlackBerry's customers if that were to happen. Yeah, I mean, I guess if if it had to come down to one of the big three, it would most likely be Windows, right? That, right. That, that is, is more positioned to scoop up enterprise customers. Um, would that give them the boost then to become more like uh, as big as an Apple or, or an Android platform? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Dan, what's your take on the situation? Who? Uh, well, what's the I fallout going to be here? <clears throat> I honestly think that that BlackBerry should sell out. I mean, they're yeah. they're dealing in a closed loop system, and yes, you're absolutely right. They have been primarily business. Uh, if they were smart, they would partner up with like Google. I think this is just my own personal opinion that they they partner up with Google and come up with Googleberry <laughs> for their for their new phone. And Unfortunately, the other side of that is that if Google is smart, they won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay. That is very true. But but the thing is, it's. I mean, honestly, uh, at least from the people I know who are in in corporate America, it's slowly transitioning away from BlackBerry anyway, because number one of the expense, people are liking you know getting the uh, corporate discount for the all you can, whatever plans. And such. So I, I don't know. I honestly think BlackBerry's kind of doomed. I mean, I've been saying this for years now. Right. And whether whether or not they actually sell themselves or go under. Whether they sell themselves or not, something's going to change. Right. I mean, they may they may die a, a long horrible death, or someone will buy them out and then repurpose them to support that brand. And that's why that's why I'm suggesting Google because it would be a perfect opportunity for them to take a swipe at Microsoft, who, mm. like Lewis had mm. said, is right. really positioned to be the the corporate productivity uh, you know, provider. Right. I think the way it's going to probably settle out is that if BlackBerry does go away, there's going to be all these customers that are up in the air, and they're going to find the service that is the best fit. It's not the one that they want, because they clearly right. want BlackBerry, and they'll find the one that's the best fit. So whatever of the three major OSs, uh, Windows, Apple, or Android, that can be that best fit, they have an opportunity here to sweep up some customers. So maybe behind the scenes, they should all start working on how to become that best position, you know? Well, that's our two cents. What's yours? Tell us in the comments below how you'd feel if BlackBerry goes away, and what would happen to the cell phone marketplace. I'm Jeff Sumaji. Bye.